terrible, man. What's going right. on, everybody? It's Middle Pro back with uh, more of the uh, co-op season two. For we're on day thirty-one, and you know we back from the night raid. But uh, coming over, huh, I'm digging out my basement here for for my house. Oh look, I can actually see my staircase hidden by a, hidden behind a pile of snow. Figure I'm gonna. I'm like I wanted to put my uh, put my old. Um, storage system in and I figured I should actually dig out my dig out my basement. Ah yes. But, I'm I'm making snowballs. Yeah, I'm just leaving snowballs. Cause I'm like my inventory's full and I don't feel like going back into your house to put stuff in. Mm-hmm. Besides, snowballs are basically useless. Yep, other than distractionary purposes. I was gonna, I was gonna say, uh, aside from making yakuji, yakuji, yakuji smoothies. Mm -hmm. I uh, wonder, can we have a? How would a snowball fight work? It basically, from my understanding, just results in uh, snowballs bouncing off of everybody. You basically just throw them like squeaky balls. Ah. I know, a little unusual. Now imagine but... if there was mammoths. Woolly mammoths? Yeah. That actually would be kind of cool. Yeah. Then I, the, I mean, we already got cougars, so we might as well just have them be saber tooth tigers. You do realize how. OP those things that would be in fighting us. We would be t we would have to deal a um, one hit for it to not it kill us really quick. Eh. They'd probably be on the hit points of a zombie bear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that that would actually faster. be a f that would be kind of a funny update though. Just you just get the. Uh, it's just like seven days to die, uh, like an ice age update. Anyone want a uh, steel warhammer? No, not me. I'm good. It's funny how I call it a warhammer. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Douche. Now imagine heavy hitting with a, a, a sledgehammer and it hits upwards, sending the zombies flying. That would actually be funny. Yeah, just whoop, boom. Have you ever played the game um, Unturned? Nope. Basically, it's a very simple art kind of style, but uh, they have, I know at least on PC, they have an option for extreme ragdolls, and you can send zombies flying across the map. Oh, uh, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Like I like it's uh, like for why I remember like watching the ragdolls like they would get so so insane like to the point like uh, where like they would just literally clip through walls. Oh yeah, when we gotta do your tier five clear quest. Uh, not exactly sure about that. <laughs> I'm like I say, I'm just over here digging out my basement here. I'm like. I'm like, I got priorities over here. Uh-huh. Very high priorities. Oh, one second, guys. I'll get this dug out. How about say, Sun didn't feel right about that corner. No, I, I was... I, I know, so I'm like, here, let me just... Let me just place it really quick. That way Fangs doesn't, doesn't have a riot over... Over not being even enough. All right, guys. So we got we got screamers. Probably because oh. me working here. Yeah, you caused it because you of your shot because off, you shot off its leg. Just bam. And we got Rans to show up. Here, Magnum for you. Fire sale on Magnum. That was basically that was basically the end of the race level 300 for me. It was just a fire sale. 
I'm out of ammunition because I I wasn't really. Yeah, I I could take care of them really quick. Come here. Come here. Give me a hug. Give me hugs. There. Now now that we took care of the Jolly Ranchers, we're good for a little bit. I'm just. I have one question though. Why didn't you go deeper so you could have a bigger basement? I just wanted to. Well, I was thinking of structural stability. Yeah, go into stone. That gives you the stability. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get this upgrade uh, eventually. I'm just like, I just want to have a basic basement. Oh, thanks. Not my personality. They're wanting me to go go ho go big or go home. Kid me, you would basically have like Area 51's uh, underground bunker if we if we went that size. <laughs> you know this is true. <laughs> That's why I'm not uh, denying it. Let's just say if if you want something done big, like, I'ma be there to help build it. <laughs> Alright, thanks, but then we're gonna be building a battleship. Alright, you ready to start gathering material? <laughs> <laughs> if we're going, if we're going by actual measurements, the the battle, like the battleship, I'd be thinking of would be uh, would only be uh, would only be like 150 blocks long. Eh, let's go for some ten times that, an aircraft carrier. Ah uh, yes, we're building an Nimitz-class aircraft carrier, Cory <laughs> <according> to Fangs. <laughs> How about a Star Destroyer? From Star Wars. You mean that big round thing? No. The oh, that... standard battle, sh the standard ship. The oh, standard I was, I was thinking of Arrowhead? the... Arrowhead? I was thinking of Death the... Death Star. I was thinking of the Death Star. Man, if any of your fans are Star Wars fans, they're gonna be pissed at you. <laughs> I do not care to watch Star Wars. And thus I pissed off half the Star Wars community <laughs> just with that <laughs> just with that quote alone. <laughs> yep. Definitely. I used to I I haven't talked to him, but like my old coworker, I mentioned that to him. He's like, "How can you not like Star Wars?" I'm like, "It's just not my thing." He was pretty chill about it, but so, but someone oh, else. No, it's not the fact that you don't like it; it's the fact that you got your facts wrong that's gonna make people mad. Yeah, but no, I was gonna say like, uh, like there's one person I've had an interaction with before where I said like, I think it was like on the May, it was on May the fourth, and you know that holiday and all that. And I'm like, I'm like whatever, it's just never a day to me, and like. I even, you know, so it was like, you know, so it said like, may, may the fourth be with you, like when I was greeting at, at my retail job, and, and I said like, like oh, like I was like, what do you mean? And like, may the fourth, you know, like may the fourth be with you, like Star Wars. I'm like, like oh, I don't really watch Star Wars. They're like, you know, I'm like, I'm not really a fan of it. And they're like, what? How can you not like Star Wars? Everybody loves Star Wars. I'm like. I just don't care to watch the series. So, this is no disrespect to Star Wars fans if you watch this, but I'm. It's just kind of one of those. It's like some some of the hardcore fans just get a. They basically eat eat, sleep, and breathe Star Wars, and I'm just kind of like the only thing that even remotely interests me is like some of the early weapons, like um, Han Solo's blasters based off of Mazer C96, and then like some of the. Uh, the, like one of the laser blasters is like uh, based off an MG34. Other than that, I was just kind of like, just not my thing. Oh, I thought I heard your auger going faintly. I'm like, I almost thought I almost thought you were going with a um. I also thought it was a screamer you know, making her noise. Eh. Uh. You know that area below the stairs that I decided to keep? Yeah. I'm gonna turn that into an entrance to a basement. Uh, another basement, I should say. You're basically having a pyramid scheme. 
Man, you do realize anytime I make a base, my my basements are a pyramid. So basically, what you're saying is they're MLM schemes. That that joke went right over my head. Just to let you know, multi-level marketing scams. Still don't um, fully understand it. Cause like they're they're called pyramid schemes. Cause like it, it's basically like um. Actually, no. I think I'm gonna have this be an entrance to my mine. But yeah, basically it's just kind of like uh. Like uh, basically it's kind of rigged against you if you get into the MLM scheme and it's like you get. And it's just, and it acts like a pyramid. Like you think you're working your way to the top, but in reality it's like. No, you're not getting anywhere. Place some storage down. The the <laughs> yep. yep. Mrs. Drago knows what she's talking about. Did you pick a quest? Thank you. And... I didn't because I'm going to do a rock and cobblestone. Okay. And get you done. Whew. You want to build a house like the on the other one? Yeah, you trying just to figure out this? I just need. I'm just gonna live in another house. That's clear. Y'all are gonna go live in another road. house? Yeah, one that's just across the road. I already cleared it. Uh, make All sure right. you place a land claim block because uh, zombies might respawn. Oh, okay. I don't want Not you guys just to... that uh, you we could accidentally get a quest there. Yeah. All right, Although I'll craft a land claim work. block and put it Give there. Give me now. one second, guys, while I organize the stuff and throw some stuff away. Alright guys, so I'm not fully organized here just yet, but it's getting later in the day, and I still have a quest to turn in. I'm just gonna throw my mods in the box here quick, and looking at the hot bar. Yes, I traded for the, I traded some handgun parts for the SMG, which uh, actually is like, uh, fit, a tier 3 SMG costs 15 handgun parts. That's so, I'm like, you know, once things mentioned that, you know, like, like, decided to just look up the crafting recipe, I'm like, oh, yeah, that actually helps out a lot. Actually, I'll take, even though I don't have the book for it, this is kind of a tip I learned for, like, I was telling things and the others about is, uh, um, that you, if you have a sniper volume one, don't put the SMG in there, but, um, you put, if you, have Sniper Volume 1, looking for the series quick. Weapon t weapons do 10% more damage when using a scope. Basically, when you aim down sights with a... With, like, say if... Like, because I just threw the 2x scope on. If I have that book, if I get it while aiming, I can do 10% more damage with the SMG. So, it's like, uh... It's been found that the damage buff from that doesn't just apply to rifles. It applies to basically any weapon that can have a scope put on it. It does not, and for clarification, this is not with the red dot sight. It has to be a scope. Mm, well, that was not too shabby. And... Let's see how you handle the next. Oh, one. hey, actual antibiotics. I'll I'll take that actually. Um. See Joe's I keep armor, I keep forgetting about that old, stinking. Courtesy of my ammo. That stinking what you call it. Uh, Tier 5 Higashi. I just got a level up. Um. If you oh, I guess I'm pulling. I'm pulling out. I'm pulling some coins out of the biggie bank. At the piggy bank. Job. Tier 4 nail gun. Are you upstairs or downstairs? Upstairs. We don't have the we don't have the handy uh, well the handy land books for uh, for nail guns yet and and there's a tier 4 nail gun for sale. Even though it's like I only are, like, until I find like a random tier 5 in the world, the, uh, I'd only just craft like a tier 1 because it kind of doesn't really matter aside from, from, uh, you know, like, repair amount, the quality level. So let's run over and grab that. Actually, before I forget, 
Hanks has been uh, has been digging. He's been he's a been a while. Yes, for a while. As mm -hmm. you can see, he is uh, he is really he's been really going at it. He is. Look at the fog when you look up. Wow, that is actually kind of cool. Uh... Oh, so let's go buy that nail gun because I'm a little sick and tired of using a claw hammer. Yeah, that nail gun's gonna help you always. Ow! What, what'd you do? Huh? Oh, I thought you were asking for help. No, I, was gonna, I said it was gonna help your ass out. Oh, I thought like you were like it sounded like on my end that you were kind of making a cry for help. Uh huh. No, like it, the this kind of how the audio came through for me. No, I'm. What is this? Okay, as long as I don't get smacked around by zombies, I should be okay to get my infection done. I'm nearly at you Y again. level zero. I know you're not Yay. here to see my face. I've got Anyone? guns for days. Yep. Just tell me what you're in the market for. Where is it? There she be. Tier 4 nail gun. 4,000 bucks. Thank you, Trader dead. Hugh. One customer at a time. And... Well, might as well, uh, might as well get some drinks while I'm here. Here you go. Grab that, and... Grab that, make a crush. Grab some extra food. And... That's all for that. And you need so yeah, food. the there's also an airdrop to go fetch, but we'll take care of that in a second. Let me just put some stuff away. No, you need to take it. And... The antibiotics only cover twenty five percent. Yeah, twenty five percent. And also, let me just label this for the toolbox. Or two. Yeah, I was, I was thinking for, for when we do, are we gonna have one posted on Christmas? Cause we should try and get one posted for Christmas where we're doing a snowball fight. I mean, I could definitely, I could definitely schedule it for Christmas. So, but that's still a ways out. And as far as I'm aware, like keep in mind, guys, like recording is finished up for race level 300. Like if we keep. If we keep up with the co-op sessions here, like, uh, like, a, and, uh, this could very well push the Race Level 300 series, uh, into, um, December. Oh, look, there's a bear. Is that a zombie bear, or is that a regular bear? Because I would like to have a word with it. Either way. I, he looks like a regular bear. Sadly. That's a bed. Now he's dead. Thank you. Lunch me is lunch me. Yep. And I ha I'll eventually have to make a make a magazine extender for my SMG or a drum mag. There's a zombie trying to guard the airdrop out here. Come here, sir. Shot him and then it's like shot him in the chest and the recoil's just taking him up and it's like a shot him in the head. He just kind of flops midair. Ooh, tier five tactical assault rifle. Ah, uh. and a sniper rifle bundle. Well, now ain't everyone getting lucky? <laughs> it sounds as if Christmas came early. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I really hope for Christmas that they have a little update that makes the loot chances for higher tier items go up slightly. I hear another bear. Christmas. Hi! I know like a few years back they had like, like, I think it was like strictly for like the Christmas time, like the, there was like a, they had like a candy cane, a candy cane club that could spawn in during that time. Yeah. I wonder if we'll be able to get that. Probably Have not. Have a candy cane weapon. Oh, no. I'm at, at the bomb of the world. Imagine a gun that shoots candy canes, though. That'd be terrifying. 
and just yeah. razor sharp candy canes. <laughs> yeah, how far or negative do you think it goes? Probably about negative twenty. Nope, positive three. Oh, yeah, guys. Uh, for digging down to the bottom of the world, it's like on legacy version. Keep in mind, this is legacy. You know, we're talking about. Um, it would go into the negatives, from what I remember. And so that that's nice to know. Take a look at the bird cage here. Everything looks okay, but it needs to be. But I need to reinforce it with concrete sometime soon. So, um, let's go down to the bottom of the world, world really quick. I at least haven't seen a, haven't seen any screamers room through. Which is surprising with how much I've been using my auger. Maybe you're out of range. I mean, that'd be useful to know that there's a range. Usually it's called in via the they're called in via the uh, the workstations like the forge and the campfire are working. Let's see, mm -hmm. where art thou? And come on down. Ah, the bottom of the world. And okay, so yeah, this is plus three. Okay then, it's kind of hard to see on the white background, but. Yeah. Wow. A nice little basement. <laughs> damn, the zombies will be damned if they if they try to if they try to dig down to here. Uh huh. And then I plan to surround this with. Hang concrete. on, hang on. Stay stay down there. I want to see like where, like where like try to line it up, kind of see because you're most likely outside the house. Let's see. Barely, because you can look out, out on the map. Yeah, but um, yeah, you're you're like thirty-one a, meters down. Yeah, thirty-one meters down. You're a couple blocks away from the road. Uh huh. And then I plan to keep going no more north. You're basically you want to have your own winter wonderland down there. Don't test me, man. <laughs> All right, then do it. Man, I I might need to uh, get a forgetting elixir. <laughs> I've actually found forgetting elixirs out of uh, like tier five loot before. Mhm. Mm I'm out of stamina and my character is red in thirst. <laughs> Are we done with rec are we done with the recording session? Uh, here in a little bit. I'm just gonna loot a tier one house quick, just to, cause I'm like I haven't I haven't got enough zombies taken out yet. Ah uh, well, I'll be going then. Okay, you take care of yourself, man. I'm gonna be leaving on top of a candle. <laughs> oh no, I mean I'm standing right on top of a candle, man. It would be funny if you wound up setting yourself on fire. I'm uh, already on it, and I'm not on fire. <laughs> Next, you know, your, your I was going to say, your character just bursts into flames right as you say that. No, I spawn in, and I burst into flames like, ah! Fire! <laughs> oh, I, I see. I come in to check this house out, and yeah, the dragon's already looted. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, okay. As they stay quiet. Is this I is mean, this ha, the house ha, ha, that you're? Ha. Is the house is this the house that I'm at? You're is the one you're looking for, guys. The Henton residence. Uh, I put a land claim block in it. Yeah, I can't see the land claim block, so. Oh, I okay. Uh, uh, I'm not there right now. Um, you can check I don't the know map. the name of it. It's actually just across the. Uh, yeah, check the map. Works. It's yeah, just like, across the road. Oh, just across the road from like uh, Fangs's house. Yep. Yep. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I couldn't see the land claim block. Guys, that's gonna be about it for today's episode of Co-op Season Two. So, uh, sorry for the slower episode, but we're gonna call it here. I hope you have a good one. Uh, please leave. Uh, 
like, subscribe, comment down below, turn on all notifications so you don't miss a video from me. Hope you have a good one. All the YouTube.